So we're going to start today with our sort of first major results from the 2022 midterms. These are primary results. And the big picture so far is relatively unremarkable, but pretty good for Donald Trump in terms of his so-called track record in endorsing people. Now, we'll talk about a bias to incumbency and all these different things as we get further in. But at least for today, let's start with the few races where we had uh, elections yesterday and see what takeaways there are in Indiana. There was the Republican primary in the ninth congressional district, uh, not a particularly prominent race. Aaron Hoochin won there relatively easily over Mike Sidrell. But more interestingly, and a lot of attention paid to this race so far in the Ohio U.S. Senate Republican primary, J.D. Vance won. Now, it's not J.P., it's not J.D. Mandel, as Donald Trump claimed to endorse at his rally over the weekend, not even knowing who he endorsed. It's J.D. Vance, J.D. Vance winning by about seven points over Josh Mandel. This is the first sort of signal about Trump's endorsement power. And we can argue it's not really the perfect example because there were so many different people who endorsed J.D. Vance, prominent Republicans, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates and many others. But regardless, this is a situation where J.D. Vance was, uh, I believe, fourth in the polls at the point at which Donald Trump endorsed him. And he ultimately won 31 to 24 over Josh Mandel. So that is one interesting race. Now, remember, uh, this is the one where Trump didn't even really seem to know who he endorsed. Remember this from over the weekend. That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for one race. You know, we've endorsed Dr. Oz. We've endorsed JP, right? J.D. Mandel. And he's doing great. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've endorsed uh, JP, right? Is that who it was? Uh, but this is important because the MAGA world or I'm hearing it now pronounced MAGA by, by many people including Donald Trump Jr. They're jumping all over this and saying Trump's endorsement reigns supreme. It is the most important thing. Uh, denouncer distance from Trump at your own peril. Here is a hopped up Don Jr. last night shot out of a cannon making this point. Remember that, Republicans, because there's far too many of you that forget that. And you'd rather cater to the media, the leftists, the other weak Republicans so that you can be loved and invited to the cool person party in D.C. No more, folks. The MAGA movement is alive and well, and we're witnessing it tonight. Congratulations, J.D. I know you're going to make us proud in the U.S. Senate. Right. OK, so there's Don Jr. with a shot across the bow at anybody thinking of uh, going with a non-Trump candidate, I guess, or um, undervaluing the importance of uh, Donald Trump's endorsement. Now, Remember that J.D. Vance at one point said that he was going back and forth as to whether Trump is America's Hitler. That's what J.D. Vance used to say. He then had a change of heart, I guess, and he groveled a lot. Uh, and Donald Trump ultimately did endorse him. Now, going back to the results on the Democratic side, Tim Ryan has won. Now, Tim Ryan's a member of, of the House currently. He's been a guest on this show before. I think he's a good guy. He's a smart guy. He's an impassioned speaker. For me, this is an extraordinarily important race. And of course, it is now Tim Ryan versus J.D. Vance. I'm supporting Tim Ryan. Uh, we will see if we get debates there. I would love to cover those debates. But this is a particularly great race to get involved in. Ryan easily winning the primary with 73 percent of the vote against uh, two pro two main opponents. And uh, that's good news. Now, continuing with the Trump impact over in the ninth congressional district in Ohio, as of this moment, when we are taping today's show, it has not yet been called. But J.R. Majewski is in the lead. Now, J.R. Majewski is Trump endorsed. He was also a guest on this program a few weeks ago. He was a sort of kind of reasonable Trumpist, although he still says Trump won. And that 2020 was stolen and all of that stuff. But if indeed J.R. Majewski prevails, it will be another win for Donald Trump's endorsement record to the extent that uh, it matters on the Democratic side. Disappointing to many, another attempt by Nina Turner 
in the 11th congressional district. This is the Democratic primary in Ohio, 11th congressional district. Nina Turner losing very badly to Chantel Brown. Now, you might remember that in 2021, there was a special election between these same candidates, Chantel Brown and Nina Turner. And in 2021, Nina Turner lost by six, 50 to 44. There was the hope among many that this time around, with Nina Turner having more name recognition, she would be able to pull this off. She did not. She actually lost by nearly 30 points and uh, sort of alluded last night that Nina Turner is running for president in 2024. So uh, I- I'm not going to do my analysis again of Nina Turner's loss. I did it in 2021 and many of you agreed with it. Some of you didn't and were angry with me. Uh, but the analysis is the same and even bigger loss at this point in time. And at, at this point, it doesn't even seem prudent to comment on Nina Turner for president. Uh, a lot of a lot of things have to happen between now and then. But Chantel Brown uh, with, with a very, very strong victory there. A 13 congressional 13th congressional district Republican primary in Ohio. Madison Gilbert won there, but not by uh, that much in the Ohio gubernatorial primary. Uh, Mike DeWine winning relatively easily there and some other races that I don't think are particularly interesting to most in our audience. There was a Nashville district attorney Democratic primary. I know uh, of no one in my audience who was paying attention to that one. Just not that it doesn't matter. It's just a, a very, very local race. So we're keeping an eye on a number of these races, the Pennsylvania Senate race is very important. That one could ultimately decide who controls the Senate in uh, 2023, Republicans or Democrats. Tonight at 730 p.m. Eastern, the Republicans running for Pennsylvania Senate will be debating. That includes Mehmet Oz, Dave McCormick and, and others and others. And we'll be live with that on YouTube, Twitch and Facebook. So I hope you will join me there and many more primaries coming in May, all of which we will cover. Do you know the fastest growing crime in the United States? For years, the rate of this crime has been surging. The crime is identity theft, and it happens way more often than you might think. Uh, It's happened to me. I've talked about this on the show before, and uh, it can be really bad. Sometimes you get a text that your email password has been changed. Your bank calls about unusual activity. Your PayPal account is getting drained, and it can happen very, very quickly. To keep my accounts protected, I use Aura, our sponsor. Aura is identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, and password management all wrapped into one. Aura monitors the dark web for your information. They monitor your credit card. They monitor your bank accounts. My subscription to Aura gives me peace of mind, uh, protects my devices. It protects all of my different accounts, and I can monitor everything in one place on the app. If I get attacked, Aura actually takes action to prevent and resolve the issues in real time. And Aura is letting my audience try it completely free for 14 days. Go to Aura.com slash Pacman. The link is down below. 